So even though April Fool's is technically over by the time I'm recording this audio and uploading this video, we still can talk about a few funny things. It's kind of the trend, right? Like last year, we didn't make any joke videos per se. We just kind of talked about, what was it, like Cole Caulfield and Wayne Gretzky, that comparison that was made? Yeah, it's kind of an appropriate day to make some funnier type videos. And because I don't want to go with the whole fake news thing like we did in 2018 when we made a video talking about how Brock Besser got traded to the Flames that pissed everybody off, we're going to make this video instead because it's based off of something that actually did happen and it was said by somebody that actually is a prominent NHL figure. Or at least he was, he got resigned. I was about to say fired, but then I was like, no, he didn't get fired, he actually stepped away from his job in general. Let's go over on Natasha's Twitter account because what he did was he quote tweeted this thing that actually came across my timeline and I was like, oh. That's cool. That's a cool quote right there. Thanks, Taj, for digging this up from November of 2018. I came across this Paul Maurice quote on Elise Pettersson from 2018. Here is what the then Winnipeg Jets head coach had to say about the Vancouver Canucks franchise forward. I'm not going to put a label on it because it's not fair, but the way he moves and finds himself space. His hockey IQ is up there with the likes of Line A Shot and Connor McDavid's speed. Firstly, I had to do a double, triple take about that first and foremost. Okay, how are you comparing the IQ of somebody to the shooting ability of one of the best goal scorers in the league and the speed of the top player in the league? Oh, wait a minute, that's what he's talking about when it comes to the magnitude of how good his IQ is. He is saying that when it comes to Patrick Laine's ability to shoot, he is in the 1% of all NHL players, if not in the 0.5% of all NHL players when it comes to shooting. When it comes to Connor McDavid's speed, Connor McDavid is in the 0.5% of all all NHL players and their ability to accelerate with the puck. Paul Maurice is saying that Elias Pettersson's hockey IQ is in the 0.5% of all NHL players as well. Now that's all fine and dandy, but coming over into the tweet itself, there was a beautiful reply from the late Jason Botchford that highlights an even bigger idea for the Vancouver Canucks. Line's one-timer, McDavid's speed, Gretzky's spatial awareness, Sakic's wrist shot, Forsberg's desire, Datsuk's backchecking, and Burray's ability to create on the rush. Elias Pettersson is all of these. And, you know, he's joking around, right? He's not really going out there and saying that Pedersen is that good, like Pavel Bure or Datsuk or Forsberg. He's just comparing individual traits and attributes of each of these players and saying that Pedersen's hockey IQ is as good as all of these other players' other aspects. Now, you gotta remember back when these quotes were said about Elias Pettersson, this was back when he had like 10 goals in 10 games to kick off his career, and he was brand new in the National Hockey League. He scored on, I believe it was his first shot ever against the Calgary Flames. He was doing all this great stuff after being an SHL prodigy and breaking all the Swedish junior records that were soon to be broken by Linus Carlson a few years down the line. But Elias Pettersson back in this time frame was seen as unstoppable. No, he don't need a reason. He was just unstoppable. And a lot of NHL teams were going out there and facing the wrath of rookie EP40. And it's kind of funny because I think that now we're starting to see that the hockey IQ, which was always one of the better parts of his game, has sort of gotten better. Like, I don't know about you, but even though Elias Pettersson has had some ups and downs, he has had some problems with his wrist, he's had some slumps here and there, problems with goal scoring and all that... Now, you take a look at how Elias Pettersson plays the game, I mean, he's been phenomenal the past few games, and it's all coming on a team that isn't that great, that certainly doesn't have that same pizzazz and stability that the teams in 2018, 19, and 20 did. Now, sure, those other teams didn't make the playoffs either, but you still had yourselves a team in 2020, for example, that was good enough to be a bubble contender. You beat Minnesota in the play-ins, you beat St. Louis in round one, you almost made it to round three after playing off against the Vegas Golden Knights in game seven. Elias Pettersson was great then, but after all the years of tribulations, you know, as we said, the ups and downs, I think now we're sort of starting to see that Elias Pettersson has kind of made it his team, you know? I don't know how else to describe it. Sure, Bo was the captain. Sure, 
JT Miller is the most consistent guy when it comes to getting points. He just gets points like every other goal that is scored. I think his involvement percentage on the team, which is total points divided by team total goals, is like second highest in the NHL compared to like Patrick Kane or whatever it is. Even though JT Miller is technically the most valuable forward when it comes to creating points, I just think that Elias Pettersson has that dynamism that we see once in a while that makes you go, okay, yeah, this is why everybody was touting his hockey IQ back in the day. This is why he was labeled as a franchise talent because of little individual tricks that he does to get by guys or to force play forward or to deceive an opponent or anticipate a play. The shot that he had against the St. Louis Blues the other day, where he steals the puck, comes in, grips it, and rips it, that's because of anticipation. That's because he sees the play happening in front of him. He's quick to notice the deflection. He comes and he shoots it. He scores it. Sure, his shooting ability is great. His playmaking is great. His puck skills are great. But a lot of this happens because of his IQ. He's able to execute and perform up to this standard because he sees the game around him in ways that not a lot of people are able to go out there and do. And as of late, we had been seeing more nifty little tricks and cool little ooh, ah moments that make us say, yeah, no, that's the Pedersen that we saw in his rookie year with a little bit more confidence than he had back then. Like, sure, he was a good player back then, and he was getting a lot of points, and he had all these consistent streaks and all that. Sure, he hasn't had that as of late. He hasn't had the same wrist shot for the entirety of the 21-22 season, but when Pedersen really comes alive like he has been the past few weeks, it's a pleasure to watch, and I think it's more fun than the Bows or the JTs or even the Brocks. Brock isn't really that fun to watch anymore anyway. The magnitude of what an Elias Pedersen brings from an on-ice entertainment standpoint matches that of what a Quinn Hughes brings or what a Thatcher Demko brings as well, because those two other guys provide some very good entertaining value too. It's just, for Elias Pedersen, he's so smart that, I mean, I guess Paul Maurice had a point when he said, yeah, the caliber of Patrick Laine's shot, Connor McDavid's speed, Pedersen's IQ is another one of these defining traits that makes him above and beyond the rest. So, let me know in the comments all your thoughts about Elias Pettersson and this conversation we're having about his attributes, how good he is as a hockey thinker, and whether or not you think Botch's comment at the end there is accurate as well. Line's one-timer, McDavid's speed, spatial awareness from Gretzky, Sakic's wrist shot, Forsberg's desire, Datsuk's back-checking, and then you have Burry's ability to create on the rush. Is Elias Pettersson that good? I'm not really too sure, but Jason Botchford was a funny guy, so I thought I would include that in this video over here. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about this commentary. I hope you enjoyed this Richard Ashworth 99. And bye.